Hi, I'm Carol here at Stitch in Heaven in Quitman, Texas. And I'm here today to tell you about the Jubilee Block of the Month. And I have with me designer of the quilt, Marilyn Foreman. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Carol. Great to be here. Thanks for coming. Listen, we want to hear all about how you got started as a quilt designer. Uh, tell us how that happened. Okay. Um, wow. I've been quilting forever, it seems like now, back in 1995 or 96, when my daughter was just born, I was looking for something fun to do on the side. So I take classes with friends at shops, which, you know, most people start that way. So I have tons of you old bins. Um, and then in 2006, um, I started designing um, simply because I was home at that point with my kids. And um, I thought, well, gee, wouldn't it be fun to design something of my own, not no intention of being a designer. And what happened was I signed up for the Quilt Pink event. And when they had those, they basically demonstrated how to do long arm quilting at the Big Mall of America on my sample. And then um, people started asking, you know, where's the pattern? It's like, well, it's not a pattern. I just made it up. And friends were like, well, you're home doing nothing. You know, raising your kids. <laughs> so I yeah. think, why the heck not? I love math. Um, and I thought, well, hey, I do this late at night when the kids are taking naps. I'll call it quilt moments, give it a go. And 15 years later, I'm still doing this crazy thing and uh, loving it. So that's great. That's great. That's great. So, yeah. tell us, so obviously you look like you're inspired by fabric. Tell us what inspired the Jubilee block of the map. Um, It totally was the fabric. Sometimes I have a design in my mind before fabric, but in this case, I saw that Maywood um, was, you know, reaching out and, and showing their come up line and the Silver Jubilee to celebrate their 25th anniversary. And what I look for when I do what I call my Kaleidos build is a large all over print that has some of it hanging behind me that you can easily chop up to make what I call for attach Kaleidoscopes. And it, the line has a naturally a little bit of a lot of different light, medium, and dark fabrics that can really make the design pop. So that really was my inspiration. Do you have any of the fabrics there that you could show us? I do actually. So right behind me, obviously, is a large floral. And then the way the quilt works is I use, well, I chose this, um, a navy for the background to really make it pop. Because here's kind of what it, what the overall quilt looks like, okay? And actually when you're doing a block from the Station Heaven, it's going to have a large floral um, as a white border option for you too. Um, but here's, here's a chunk of the light fabrics. Ooh, yummy, right? And then it was just fun to kind of group them in different sections when I was making the blocks. These are mediums, five mediums. And then I have four darks. I'm kind of flashing this a little too fast, but we all like to touch and play with fabric. Um, and then there's just the stripe that I put kind of on the outside before the wide border. So like if you're looking at the um, so as hopefully you're as excited as I am too, because blue and white is kind of timeless. Um, this this quilt could obviously be made in lots of different colors, but when you're asking me what inspired me, I just thought, wow, this is a really fun collection. Uh, great to celebrate their anniversary. And Jubilee was a good name for the collection, so I called it Jubilee Black and Moon. <laughs> well, you're right about blue and white. We have a lot of people that love blue and white quilts, and they're really timeless. They go with any decor. You really can't go wrong with blue and white. And these fabrics are really inspiring. I'm so glad that you've come up with this project. And we're so happy to be sponsoring it at Pitch in Heaven in May, uh, coming right around the corner. So this is the time to uh, for our participants to be registering and make sure they get in before we have to say, mm, we're out of fabric. Um, right. It's yeah. only ordered a certain amount. So um, we really are excited about it. It starts in May. Um, to register for the program, just go to stitchinheaven.com and um, look at our block of the month program and um, register there. You can pay online. And um, this is one you won't want to miss because uh, it is specific to the fabric collection. So we're very excited about that. And yeah. uh, Marilyn, Marilyn has a website too. You'll want to be sure and follow Marilyn at quiltmoments.com. And could I also just give you a sneak peek at these easy four patch kaleidoscopes? I was kind oh, of. Oh, absolutely, please. Yeah, yes. so I forgot to mention that. So um, basically, the large print fabric behind me, what you're going to do is you're going to layer four identical pieces of the fabric 
and use what like flathead pins um, to just carefully align them. And then you're going to subcut that into strip sets. And then down from there into little squares. And you're just gonna do easy little four patches. Here's a small, cute one. Um, here shows here shows some that are the six and a half inch finished four patch. So you just get a pop in the center of the blocks that is more stunning since it kind of has that um, roundabout look with the four patch. So I'm kind of hoping to spread that word that that's very addicting. I know some people love to do variety of plyoscope quilts like in hexagons and octagons. This is just faster because it's four patches and just really just strip piecing. So it, it can be really done for any level. Don't be scared. Um, and I believe I might gonna pop in on your Facebook group and maybe even demo the cutting process for people. So don't let that hesitate at all in the sign up. I just hope um, a lot of people join us. It's really fun. Yes, thank you for that. We really appreciate it. Um, we love it when we can have designers participate with our Facebook group and uh, with our with our customers. So thank you for that. We appreciate it, Marilyn. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add um, that would give anybody another idea? You said that this could really be for any level. Yeah, yeah, it could. I mean, I, it would, I would like to think that you, you know, have at least done a little bit of quilting, you know, are comfortable with your quarter inch seam, um, but the things are laid out really in detail. Um, everything is made with squares and rectangles. I do some stitching for corners and things like that, but there's no, you know, difficult templates or anything like that. It's your basic um, rulers that you'd be using um, and then learning this kind of fun uh, technique of layering the large prints. So kind of once you do this, you know, pre-warning here, you're going to be addicted to large prints. <laughs> And see and see and play what they can do. So yes, and we'll be looking at large prints in a whole different way. Exactly. Quilting. Exactly. If you're wearing your stash, will increase. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Marilyn, for being with us today at Stitch in Heaven. And everyone, go to the website and definitely sign up for Jubilee. It begins in May 2021. Yes. Thanks so much, Carol. Looking forward to it.